Hi, welcome to another episode of a clinical pharmacist life. Uh, today we will be discussing uh, about the use of the SG cyclin. Uh, we all know that it is an antibiotic. It is narrow spectrum, not a broad spectrum anti uh, antibiotic. Uh, it's not very commonly being used for normal uh, for the treatment, normal treatment of infection, uh, but. It's being considered as a first line therapy in a CRE, a CRE infections of E. coli and Clefthalian pseudomonas, where all the antibiotics, main antibiotics, are resistant. Uh, it is usually used with phosphomycin. Now, uh, the concern with uh, tagging uh, is the doses, the doses, and uh, in different uh, in different uh, populations. In adult, we know that it is given 100 uh, milligram as a loading dose and 50 mg BID dose. Uh, one thing is to consider is in in ventilated patient, in ventilated patient, uh, patient, the pharmacokinetics of uh, of uh, tagging is deranged. In this, it being uh, in such patient, it is being observed that the, uh, that the viability is low hence uh, it is being recommended uh, it's uh, it's recommended 200 mg uh, as a loading dose and 100 mg bid as a uh, as a normal maintenance dose in patient with ventilated one uh, ventilated one and then uh, comes the another concern of population is children it is the it is not being established the doses are not established however you will find references in micromedics and other one that uh, below I mean 12 to 17 uh, uh, years old you can give around 50 mg 50 mg per kg uh, 50 mg sorry 50 mg bid and below 17 12 uh, 8 to 11, uh, 8 to 11 years old you can give uh, 1.2 mg per kg uh, per twice daily uh, but below this uh, this one in units and at uh, one year old uh, children there are no big reference uh, today I was trying to find out and we found uh, a reference, very good reference. Uh, let me check that reference. That's also attached at, uh, at the description. Uh, is from the expert review of antibiotic therapy. Uh, the paper name is use of tagisacline in pediatric one. Uh, if you review this paper, uh, you will find the dose. Uh, the recommendation has been given is 1.2 milligram per kg twice daily and no loading dose has been recommended. It's not recommended. It's no test has been done on that particular one. Uh, uh, if you see all the all the case studies that have been reviewed in this one, one thing is only one study I have found that was around, uh, which was around for neonates. That is zero uh, zero age factor. Uh, in that one, it was one mg per kg uh, twice daily. So when if I will if I will recommend someone that one, so I will recommend that one because I have a evidence based practice based on that particular one. So I will suggest in a neonate one mg per kg per uh, uh, twice daily. Mm, uh, one thing in uh, to one uh, one thing is to observe that the good thing about tagisacline that the ADR was uh, not so uh, much prominent uh, in any of those cases. However, we need to uh, we need to monitor hepatic one because it can cause hepatic dis uh, uh, dysfunction, and this is a, in a normal one also in the normal population also. So my request is whenever tagisacline has been used, so we have to uh, monitor. Uh, for hepatic, uh, hepatic uh, parameters, uh, AST, ALT. Uh, but the, as other part of the thing, pharmacokinetics, uh, yes, this polymer distribution is high. Uh, is high. That means it, uh, the serum concentration or level in the blood would be lower, and in other uh, in other part it would be higher. Uh, that means the loading dose plays a very vital role in that one. I'm, I was surprised that in many of the studies there was no loading dose uh, one given. So I'm a very big fan of loading dose, especially in, in critical cases. I do give loading dose so to achieve the viability at, uh, as quick as possible. Uh, but unfortunately, we do not have any references for uh, for those uh, for this population for the Chilean population for the loading dose. Hence, not recommend. I, I have not recommended it yet. I have not suggested that one ever uh, till now. Uh, what else on that particular one? Mm, yeah, that's it. I hope you find this uh, this uh, blog uh, useful. Uh, kindly keep updating and uh, keep propagating this uh, this information to others. Might be will be useful for others. And keep subscribing. Thank you very much.